And welcome back, and we're moving into our first segment for the morning. Uh, we've got the Belize representatives of the Belize Brewing Company in with us uh, to talk about the newest product to hit the scene, Bellikin's Black and Tan, and it's right here in front of us. As a matter of fact, to tell us some more about it, uh, we've got account coordinator at the Belize Brewing Company. That's actually at Bowen & Bowen is Jason Badillo. And of course, we've got um, Trade Marketing Coordinator, Sorry. Louis Riverol. Guys, good morning. Loving the shirts. What else should I say? What else should I say? Loving the product. Welcome. Yeah. Good morning, morning. So it's definitely, uh, you know, it's tending to be one of those fun Fridays, morning, yeah. whereby we talk about something that is dear to us. And we're talking Belican products here. So guys, let's talk about Black and Tan. Jason, Black, what is Black and Tan? What, what, what is this product? Well, small good, John. Basically, <laughs> black and tan. Um, black and tan has existed for a while, but it has never been produced in one bottle. Black and tan is half beer and half stout. So it's literally half of a Belkin beer in a cup, half of a Belkin stout in a cup. Now, what we did mm -hmm. is we brewed that and put it in one bottle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? So it has the same great flavor as if you poured half and half in a cup, mm -hmm. now in a bottle. Wow, and then you know there there are folks who prefer stout, then there are right. folks who prefer beer, right. and there are folks who prefer both worlds. But they are cognizant of the alcohol content that is in it. Well, right now, what are the alcohol content in, in in those products? In the black and tan, it's and again because of the half and half characteristics, uh -huh. it's literally the midpoint between a Belkin beer and a Belkin stout. So it's the alcohol content in a black and tan is 5.7% alcohol by volume. Uh, Which is more or less than it's the... It's more the than the beer, it's less, less than, than the stout, stout. Ah. right? So mm -hmm. the beer we have here is 4.8% and the stout is 65 mm -hmm. And black and tan sits right at the middle at 57 so where did this idea come from? I mean, people have been ordering black and tan forever. Right, uh, right, so, right. so why did you take the job away from the bartender? <laughs> well, <laughs> no pun intended, but the idea has been brewing for a while. Um, it was on the table maybe a year or so ago. Mm -hmm. And again, people have always been ordering black and tan, mm -hmm. but every bar, every bartender has a different style. You might get a bit more stout, a bit more beer, mm -hmm. and yeah. it's never the same flavor. So we thought that if we put the right formula together, you get the product the way it should be. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, what was the test lab like in figuring out the exact proportions? Or did you just go 50-50 <laughs> across the board? It's, it was exactly 50-50. The numbers for Belkin beer cut in half, the numbers for Belkin stout cut in half, and we put it together. Mm. Yeah, wow. But and, but it, and for instance, we've got this thing, it's new. Mm -hmm. I'm sure a lot of people will eventually want to flock to it because Belizeans, let's face the fact, we love new things. Definitely. Now, do we see this, is it like a seasonal or do we see this now that it's been, now that it has been brewed, mm -hmm. do we see it throughout? Right. For now, we are classifying it as a seasonal. It's in the same category as the chocolate stout and the sorrel stout. Mm -hmm. um, it's while supplies last. It's a very limited quantity, so I'm guessing it will be here just for the month of October. Mm. Um, we'll see how it goes. If we like it, we get good reviews. We'll definitely make it something long term. Wow. And obviously, yeah. as you should say, uh, it's a part of the Oktoberfest. Yeah, Oktoberfest. Octo mm. <laughs> so that's a Belizeanized version of it. Right, 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 right. Uh, we have several activations going on for the Oktoberfest. Um, Lou can tell you more about that. It's not just one big fest as we do with the Belkin okay. Bash, but it, yeah. it happens all over the country. Okay, cool. So, so Lou, expand on that because we hear October Beer Fest. We're talking that we're basically at one particular spot and we're having a big party. And that's no, it just means lots of beer to me because that's what October <laughs> is about, like wherever you are right. in the world. Right, yeah. right. So what, what is that? What is actually, Octo October Fest, mm -hmm. they actually do special brews for October Fest, yeah. right? Okay. Which kind of ties into what we're doing here because yeah. we did our special brew for Octo Beer Fest, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, what we're gonna do, if you can see on the flyer, uh, you have that pretzel there, which kind of shows you that um, it gives a hint to what we're gonna do with our black and tan parties, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. We have parties scheduled this entire month. Mm -hmm. uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have our uh, pretzels and sausages available what? to kind of, that saltiness, a little spiciness from the sausages, yeah. mm -hmm. to kind of go along with the black and tan. Wow. Right? So you drink your black and tan beer and you get those nice huge pretzels. Mm -hmm. We got a supplier to provide those for us. 
and we're going to have them at all our black and tan parties. And all the black and tan parties are uh, just specific districts or is that all across the country? All across the country. For example, today mm -hmm. we're going to be having at uh, Sit and Sip here in Belize City. Mm -hmm. We're going to be having at the Lazy Lizard mm -hmm. in Key Cocker, at um, Scotty's Bar and Grill in Corozal. Mm -hmm. um, over in the west, we're going to be at Mike's Q Club. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Right. And down south, we're going to be at Wayland's World. Wow. Right. Yeah, and yeah. in San Pedro at uh, Wyo's Beer Net. Yeah. That's all happening tonight. Right. Yeah. You can go to any one of those places, uh, get your black and tan sample, mm -hmm. buy your bucket of black and tan, mm -hmm. yeah. and you're going to get your pretzels and your sausages. But you right. can go just for the pretzels because yeah. we can't really get the pretzels <laughs> anywhere. But, I mean, you guys are getting sophisticated on us. We now try, you're offering pairings with the beer. <laughs> uh, that was for the wine people, right? <laughs> we have to get creative. We have to get creative. So, be being that it's a seasonal, is it like. Uh, more expensive than the Belican beer, Belican stout? Definitely not, John. Um, it's the same price as Belican beer or Belican stout at two seventy five. Two seventy five. Right. Whoa. Right. And you could find it at any store now. It's a, it should be available countrywide today. Wow. Yeah. So, Marlene, I don't know if I, I'm ready to taste it. I I think that would be a good way to segue into ready? what it tastes like. Yeah. yeah. Look, I open it, man. Right, look, I open it. I, look, it feels so cool. It's very nice. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> All, right. All right, so that's, that's you. That's, uh, this is, uh, oh, let me pass that on to my lady. So, let me give my confession. I'm yes. not a stout drinker. Okay. So, okay. I can drink beer, but right. I'm not a stout drinker. What does it taste, which one does it taste like more? This, this is your chance. This no, is your I want chance. The, you I want, want me to explain. <laughs> I don't before. want to, you know, incept your mind and let you think. Um, it's all right. I have good b uh, b uh, borders for that. It, it has char characteristics of both. Mm -hmm. um, the stout has flavors such as chocolate, caramel, coffee, and you definitely get that taste. Yeah. And the beer has more malt and a more malty, hoppy flavor, and you definitely get that as well. Um, there's a bit like they neutralize each other, so it's very smooth. Mm -hmm. But while it goes down, you get hints of each flavor from each beer, each right. stout. Let's attest to it. Let's yep. go look. Are you guys ready? Mm. Cheers, cheers. cheers All right. so black Early and in the morning. morning. Early in the morning. Okay. Let's see. Stout does not taste like a regular stout. Right. That's why we're, that's right. That's why we're that's yeah. right. It's, it's definitely best of both worlds. Yeah. Exactly. That's you know, the you same know thing the, I was thinking. Yeah. Yes. And one of the things that you, that you mentioned that stick out to me while going down, you could get that, you get, at first, there is a stouty taste to it to a certain extent, right. not as loud as it uh, as it normally is when you're drinking a stout. When it's going down, then you get that hop for the beer. Correct. And so it's a it, to me it's a it's a wonderful blend. It's a perfect blend, right. especially for October. This thing right. is, and it doesn't have the aftertaste like a stout, you know. That I was going to say. See, yeah. I, I can't do the technical hop up, whatever. <laughs> uh, I can talk yeah. about bittersweet and smooth. Right. <laughs> and right. so, uh, but, but it is it is, it is is something smooth. And for Lou, uh, can we go to the store like today and find this there? Yes. Actually, they've been in stores from yesterday. Mm -hmm. Right. So today, the rest of our customers are going to have it available. Mm -hmm. Wow. Right. So you guys have been talking about it for a while. People have been hearing. What has been the response so far? It's been great. Uh -huh. People have been messaging us, even on our <laughs> personal pages, where can we find it? Where is the beer? What's it about? So uh, it's, it's, we've been lit literally campaigning 24 seven. You know, you get up middle of the night and there's a message, you know, yeah. what's up with black and tan? You know, and you're, you're responding. So we've, we've had good responses so far. Nice, yeah. I like that. And of, of course, while we've got this wonderful line going on here, and we know that a lot of people will be flocking to it. Like I mentioned, Belizeans love something new. <laughs> uh, we also saw commercials of, of the uh, Schweppes, right. uh, Schweppes grapefruit. What, right. is, what is that? We're launching a new flavor of mm. Schweppes, uh, which is the grapefruit. We've, we've switched from the Fanta line to the Schweppes line a few months ago. Yeah, I got a question about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it a different formula? No, it's not. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> we, we guarantee you. We, lit up, yes. we switched out the bottles. That's it. It's the same uh, formula. It's new branding. And the reason for that is, is it's, it goes to a different target audience. Fanta caters to a younger target audience, while Schweppes is more of a mixing line you could find in bars and restaurants. So that's why you have the soda water, tonic water, ginger mm. ale. 
those are mixers, mm. right? And those don't cater to the Fanta audience. Okay. Right, so that's why we went to Schweppes. So there is no change in there the formula. There is no change no in the change. formula. It's still the same great product in a new bottle. Okay, and now yeah. we're adding the grapefruit. Right, 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 right. Grapefruit. So we have four flavors now. Grapefruit, ginger ale, soda, wa soda water, and tonic, tonic water. Nice. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Uh, another thing that stick out to me when it comes to the Blaze Brewing Company, when you go to people's yard, you see a lot of bottles. And mm -hmm. to me, like, we don't know what to do with these bottles. Now, right. are these bottles acceptable back at the sales center? Yes. Uh, we do have a deposit on them. So you take these bottles back and you get 25 cents per bottle. Mm. Schweppes as well. <laughs> <laughs> we actually, uh, and this is complete, it's, it's not off topic, but we take back all our bottles, even the ones that uh, don't have a deposit, all yeah. the plastic bottles, we take them back and we do recycling with them. Uh -huh. Nice. Right. Wow. Yeah, well, there are quite a number of schools that do collection of plastic bottles, and that's right. great because they right. can take it somewhere right. as well. But, you know, you, you've talked a bit about uh, some of the events that are taking place, and you said tonight, but is it also going to carry forward for the rest of October? Do you have other a activities planned? Yes, it's actually for the entire month. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be having these countrywide, right? Um, our teams all over the country, they have scheduled parties, uh, some midweek, some around the weekend. Uh, mm -hmm. They all know where... Uh, you know, when the parties should happen, you know, when they get their crowds, when you get their stout crowds, their beer crowds, and now their black and tan crowds. So, so the stout crowd and the beer crowd will come together yes, and one. Yes, they will have a big happy family. <laughs> <laughs> They're uniting people. <laughs> half and half with beer and stout crowd indeed. But yeah. right here actually on the table, can, can you pass those to me? Sure. You actually have uh, what the mixture, where the mixture came from in terms of yeah. the black and tan. There is a there is a Belkin stout here, mm -hmm. and there is a there is a Belkin beer in this wonderful bottle. I love the color, <laughs> of course. <laughs> and you could see the richness of the stout yeah. and the richness of the Belkin beer, mm -hmm. and it produced this. What, 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 how would you say that? Was that is that like a? I don't want to say that want mandingo. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's definitely blend, a high quality blend. product. The yeah. blend. Yeah. It's, it's definitely a, yes. It's a fusion. It's not as dark as the stout because I can't even see through the stout bottle. Right. Uh -huh. And uh, right. with the beer, is of course there's some transparency in, in right. there. And for this one, it's just it's right there. It's yeah. just it's it's leaning. It's you, right there. You could definitely see the difference in color when you pour it into a glass cup. Yeah. Um, the stout is very dark. Mm -hmm. The beer has a amber color, mm -hmm. and then because of that, now black and tan has this dark amber color, and that's what it's classified as a dark amber lager. Mm. Right. Nice. All right. And it d does all the work for everybody else. You don't have to yeah, pour it, mix exactly. it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, first one tastes good, next one tastes too much of beer. Exactly. You have the perfect <laughs> so this mixture. Is the, this is so the right far. formula, definitely. <laughs> and it's available countrywide. Countrywide. In countrywide. stores, countrywide. Uh, same great price at two seventy five. Definitely. Wow. All right. Well, cool. Limited. Well, no, you're not saying li while, while supplies, supplies last. last. We might right. just have to brew some more. Well, that, didn't that happen the first time you did the sorrel or chocolate right. or one of them right. that it, it went so, so fast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to send a uh, brewmaster back in to whip up <laughs> another batch. And you know, as you mentioned sorrel, guys, um, what do we have coming up next? We know that Christmas time, that's what uh, we've got some more seasonals coming on. Right. So what do we have next? Uh, next, we have sorrel, sorrel. stout. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sorrel stout comes out in mid-November. Mm -hmm. We also have the Belkin Stout calendar launch in November. That's always a big deal. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so I know everyone is looking out for that. Mm. So I want to encourage everyone to follow our Facebook and our Instagram, Belkin Beer. Mm -hmm. um, there's always updates, whether it's the new product, it's the calendar launch. Now, I must say, without letting out too much, next year is the 50th anniversary for Belkin. So if you thought this year was huge, Look out for 2019. Sweet. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That is going to be one very big party. Yeah. Me it like you, me yeah. like you. Oh, you know, guys, and while we, while we shed on a lot of the information out, uh, but bef I finally, before we get into the fun aspect of things, for Lou, wh while the Sorrel Stalls will be coming on, uh, will there be activations in all of the e these areas, like you mentioned, for this? And is that a new trend uh, with the Belize Brewing Company? Well, uh, it's not a new trend. We've always done activations, right? But we've been trying uh, to have different types of activations, right? As you can see, uh, we have the pretzels and the sausages for the Oktoberfest parties, mm -hmm. right? Um, we won't be really having too much sorrel stout parties, but for the calendar launch, we'll be having a lot of calendar launch parties 
with the models from the calendar, mm. right? And we'll take them countrywide, a few of them, to each mm. location, mm. so you can get your calendar signed. Um, you can take pictures with them. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's Sweet. gonna be yeah. exciting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you ready to jump? And we know the people are looking forward to that big reveal oh to yeah. see uh, all oh yeah. the girls who've been selected right. as the models. Did you have a lot of models uh, audition this year? Yes, yes, and even that, um, along with the activations, right, we took the casting countrywide. So it's not just oh. in Belize today, and you have to get here. We went to every district, and we had a uh, model casting. So that Ooh. means we'll see some brand new faces. Yes. Well, that's it. Every year, it's all brand new faces now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So we do. The, the, there's a thing we do here on Fridays. It's called Fun Fridays, right? <laughs> and then what we do, we actually make it as fun as possible. Yeah. Are I'm you ready? I'm nervous. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we gave you uh, black and tan. So you can't say beer. What do you say? Black and tan. Black and tan. It's a pelican black and tan. Or the dark amber. Right? Mm, right, yeah. Right, right, okay. Right, right. So. That uh, loosened up all your uh, inhibitions. You'll yes. guess freely uh, some of the names of these songs. But Ooh. here's the thing. Mm -hmm. oh. You're not going to hear it. <laughs> you will guess it based on the picture. Hmm. Huh. I'll leave this up to me. <laughs> <laughs> and right. the prize is uh, a bucket of black and tan. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, mm -hmm. there are four pictures that will be displayed, and you have to try to figure out what song it is trying to say, right? Mm. All right. Are we ready? Okay. Let's get the first one up. Right. <laughs> the first one. Look uh, at the pictures. Billie Jean and B. There you go. <laughs> Billie Jean. <laughs> 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 All right. Let's go. Number two. You got one. Number two. Let's go. And you thought it was going to be hard. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get that. Let's see. Let's see the pictures that. behind this one. Mm. Mm. Um. I kissed the girl. That's what <laughs> <I was doing>. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, that's what really working out. <laughs> Something's going on here. Something's going All on. All right. Next up. All right. Next one. And it's going to be. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. <laughs> Help me out here. I'm, I'm um, light fire. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, this one is a tough one. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Or, is it, or was it when I hide the people? Because no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's That's the name it. of a song. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's the name of a song. Ooh. Ooh. Help me. Should we tell him the artist? And probably, yeah, probably. Yeah, the artist will help you. Okay, it's by Adele. Oh. Um, I, I, I know, I'm hearing the song, <laughs> I Set Fire to the Rain. Yeah, <laughs> That's yeah, the name of the song? Yes. <laughs> <This one. laughs> All um, right. So let's go, with the, let's go with the other one. Let's go with the other one. <laughs> let's see. I don't know if these guys okay. are going to know this song. Mm -hmm. um, um. Can we get the artist? <laughs> It's as literal as I want looks. to say uh, candy, candy shop from <laughs> 50 <laughs> Cent. <laughs> Pretty sure his video didn't look I know. Like yeah, that. No, yeah, yeah, not close. All right, let's get to the other one. This is Bali, I swear. All right. All right. Ice, ice, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should have them sing well, no, that was too fast. the last one, right? That was too fast. Uh -huh. Yeah, let's go. Last one. Oh, I know. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, this one is tough. It's one word. One word. Because I'm happy? Yeah. There you <laughs> go! Sorry, <huh? laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Goodness. There you go. Not, Look, only, not only can you enjoy smooth black and tan, it actually uh, makes you smarter to get <laughs> some. <laughs> no, man, so, like, some things up. Did they email these things? <laughs> For real. I they got, got, I got like, some good sleep. <laughs> But guys, uh, uh, final words are yours, man. Um, the, the black and tan is out, and again, the activation, the party activations. Mm -hmm. Lou, where will we find these parties? Because again, today's a Friday. Yeah, yeah. today's a Friday. So like I said, tonight you can start off from the north. We have uh, Scottish Bar and Grill mm -hmm. um, over in Key Cocker. We're going to have the Land of the Laser Lizard, San Pedro, uh, Wires Beer Net. Here in Belize City, Sit and Sip. Mm -hmm. um, where am I missing? Down in Stan Creek, uh, mm -hmm. Wayland's World. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's in Toledo. We live right. Yeah, right. in Toledo. And then uh, out west in Belmopan, Mike's Q Club, right? That's all happening Correct. tonight. 
tonight. Right. And again, on that note, you follow us on Facebook and Instagram, Belkin Bear, to find out where the other activations will be yes, uh, throughout the month. This entire month. Yeah. All right. Go yeah. and uh, try out the specially brewed black and tan. Get your pretzels and your sausages. That's right. And uh, have a great weekend. Thank you for coming in. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. For having us. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and take a break. When we come back, it'll be for Brock It Down with Jenny. So stay tuned.